Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be learning how to use the Gracie 1112 Curette. Uh, this instrument is um, a great instrument for moderate to heavy calculus removal. It is a periodontal instrument, so it is to be used subgingively. Um, and again, this is a curette, so it has one cutting edge. And if you take a closer look, you see that the face tilts at approximately a 70 degree angle to the lower shank. Uh, which that helps to identify the cutting edge as well. And also because it is curved, so you see it has a rounded toe and it has a rounded back, because it is curved, um, the cutting edges and the rounded toe enhance the adaptation to the rounded uh, root surfaces and root concavities and frication areas. So again, this instrument is a periodontal instrument and it is only used for the posterior teeth on the mesial surfaces only, so molars and premolars. All right, so now let's go on. Uh, first, before we begin, we should identify the correct working end. And one way to do that is to place the instrument right in between uh, the two premolars. So you could use the two premolars as your guide. And if you take a closer look, you see how the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, and it creates this little V on the bend here. So that V is created on the distal of that premolar, and that is how you know that that is the correct end. Now, if I were to put the wrong end in here, you see that it it doesn't uh, create that V on the distal surface and the V is more pointing towards the mesial surface. So that is incorrect. So again, uh, this is correct. And uh, another way to identify the correct working end is uh, knowing that it hugs the mesial. Okay, so again, this is uh, a posterior instrument only. So now we're gonna begin and uh, let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna start at the distal line angle. So we're gonna kind of dive into that pocket, nice and easy. And then we're going to scale using controlled overlapping strokes, going and rolling into that interproximal space, getting all that calculus from the coal, making sure you're using your uh, vertical, horizontal, oblique strokes, okay, as you're going in, and making sure that you, um, once you're getting around um, towards the, um, the line angle, you begin to roll. And right here on the interproximals, making sure that you are maintaining a 70 to 80 degree angulation for proper calculus removal. So you see how I'm rocking on my fulcrum and the instrument is kind of going towards the mesial like that, that, um, that is for calculus removal. So you're not just going up and down with the instrument. Make sure that you are rocking on your fulcrum. Now I'm gonna show you how to use it on the linguals of the lower left. Again, start at the distal line angle. And that is how you use the 1112 Gracie Curette. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.